Hey guys, a vlog quickly. Yes, I mentioned on my Bleach review that I will be doing a vlog. Uh, mention about my Q&As and that's not just all what I want to talk about in this vlog or or update video or whatever you want to call these things um, but I've been looking back on my channel that I've been getting quite a bit of views but not a lot of views on my Bleach manga chapters and stuff I want to keep doing those I want to keep doing the Bleach One Piece and show Geki no Summer reviews and Fairy Tale manga chapter reviews but I also want to mix, do a lot of Digimon related reviews uh, or topic videos or video or, or stuff like that. So, well, I'm going to be starting first to see if it all goes well. Let's do a Digimon of the Week type video series. And those type of things will be coming up on Tuesdays because of Fairy Tale being out on Mondays. I want to keep make sure that Monday is the thing that keeps on. Popping out with Fairy Tale, and that is the video that gets dedicated on that day and hopefully the rest of the week. But I also want to dedicate Tuesday because I haven't got nothing on Tuesdays to review or do a topic video or a Digimon of the week. And I'll be talking about each Digimon or do a video dedicated to Digimon every week. I'll be t probably going to be doing the, uh, around the Chosen Children, Di uh, Digidestin from Digimon Adventures Digimon. For the first video, probably Agumon will be first and then the following weeks after I'll probably be doing those because I know that I haven't really returned back to reviewing the other Digimon movies and giving my thoughts on those other movies. I'm going to be trying to get those back up as well and probably get those up on Wednesdays. But I really want to get these type of uh, questions, these type of videos out and on the, on the go for you guys to enjoy and like as much as possible. I also want feedback and your ideas in the comment section down below. Tell me if you would like to see more Digimon related videos like me doing research and topics because as you probably noticed that with my manga reviews and so on, I literally do just literally read the chapter, come up here in the in my recording studio and literally straight on to recording the chapter or review the chapter straight away and giving my actual after at my actual first thoughts, my first opinions of the chapter, what I liked about it and everything in that review and everything because it literally is just straight up unrehearsed, unrecorded and just straight into this type of review with a quite a, bit, a few editing, some little bit of hiccups still is in the last shot but quite a bit of editing to see of stuff that I wish I, I want to take out and stuff like that into that process but if you want a bit more coherent, a little bit more scripted stuff and a little bit, and that's why I want my Digimon reviews, uh, not reviews, uh, videos to be is a little bit more scripted, so that I can research it, type it up, and then, and then tell you a little bit more about it. Because those type of things I want to type up on my, on my iPad, so that I can then do it on my iPad and have notes, bullet points, just to give you a little bit of thoughts of what I found and a little bit of discussions and everything. To you guys, because I really want to be a bit more productive and everything because I, I really want to do this type of things. But I also might expand to also once I get the right setup as well in more of the webcam and capturing card systems to buy because I'm looking into buying those, but I haven't got the funds at the moment. And I'm not signing a Patreon because I think I with Patreon, I think I need a bit more subscribers, a bit more of a following, a followers. Then just 23 subscribers to start Patreon to try and get equipment to continue this sort of stuff because this at the moment I'm doing YouTube videos as a fun hobby, a side hobby of mine now because I love doing it and stuff like that. But other than that, uh, just comment down below what else you want me to do on this channel because Let's Plays is a big th think about but I need to get the equipment first and me live on a minimal like a low paid job living with my partner we can't really afford at the moment we are we are surviving to pay the rent and all the bills and buying food each month but we so we can't really get those type of things at all but I really want to try and do a lot of things for this video so I can really really do this more often and be a bit more like a career but I, I'm not wanting to rush it I want to build it up and see if I can get out there because I haven't I've done YouTube for ages. I started back roughly around 2007 when the first movie came out, and roughly around 2007 
or 2008-9 because I had several different channels and they all been taken down. I just started up my channels again and stuff like that. And and Jasmus Rider was my old channel where all my toy reviews were and everything. And Kaiser Take Corner is my new channel that I'm really am making as my main channel and have really wanted to grow. I've been doing videos and uploading videos constantly each week, and I just wanted to bring up these little questions a little bit more of a topic that I just wanted to talk to you guys about and everything. I want to get a new mic for this because the mic that I've got at the moment is broken as hell because there was a lot of crackling and popping because of the mic because I accidentally tripped on it and um, the jack bent and it looked like it has gotten worse and so I need to get a new one. I was thinking about getting one of those clip-on microphones where I can just feed through my t-shirt and have it clipped onto me onto like my t-shirt and then I can talk that way and it be a bit more clearer and then everything so that I could have a little bit more of a high quality audio and it would be a bit more closer so that the frequency is a little bit more louder and the audio is going straight to the microphone via my voice but there are things that I can look into later on but like I mentioned before I'm thinking about doing these kind of things like doing doing these Digimon weekly videos and everything and bringing back the Digimon movie reviews because I really enjoy reviewing Digimon Adventure Trial. I might even do a full series review of Digimon up going from Digimon Adventure all the way to Digimon Cross Wars. I'm calling it Digimon Cross Wars because I don't watch I didn't I have not watched Fusion so I haven't watched the dubs. So I'll be going by Taiki and and the gang and everything like that with Cross Wars, so I will be, might be doing a review of each season all the way through, so you guys get my thoughts on it, and I will be probably doing that after I get back into reviewing the movies, and talking about and reviewing the movies is something that I really want to get back into, because I reviewed Digimon Adventure, I reviewed Our War Game, I reviewed, reviewed Hurricane Touchdown and the Golden Digimantles, and I will have reviewed the return of Diaboramon or Diablomon. I am on the Tamers movies that are there. There's only two Tamers movies and then we've got the Frontier movie and then we've got the Digimon X Evolution one. I think it's one of my favourite movies because it mainly focuses on the Digimon. There's no humans in counterparts within that film and I really enjoyed the CG's kind of dip. I love that they used CG and the CG was great at the time when it came out. And then we've got the two Saver movies. And I mean there are two Saver movies because I'm still trying to hunt the second Saver movie. And then we have all these little festival movies that came out during Toby Festival and stuff like that. They are classed as movies even though they're shorts. They are short films, very short films and they and Toby classes them as the films and then we have the Tri series that is class like di like the film Twelve Digimon Adventure Tri is the series um, di mainly Digimon Adventure Tri is a film series in its own but it's also so it's a series uh, it's a Digimon series but it's a series of films so they is that small class as a series but but all the other films are their own things they are can some of them are canon so like I commented on some type where. Where um, where try takes place? Some say it was a fuse. When I commented on this video about of their review of Digimon Adventure Try, I mentioned that it takes several months. When I say that is, it's a few years since Adventure. Try takes place a few years, th three to two years after the events of Digimon Adventure. But in ca technicality, Digimon Try takes place a few months after the range of Diaboramon because they are older and that's where it takes place a few months after, a year after, six months after Revenge of Diaboramon. It's only, it's a few years after this event of Digimon Adventure but the fact that Tri is taking place in the Adventure Universe and that Adventure 2 is there and is ability and is canon it takes place after Revenge of Diaboramon. It's film. It takes place six months after that because they are older. They are in their they're in their high school. They are in new school. They're on their new year in school. And Joe is heading off to college. He was already in his. He was preparing to, for college entry exams in Revenge of Diaboramon. But Joe being in college during Adventure Try shows indicates that it takes place. Of six months after 
at Revenge Day of Pokemon, showing that Joe has entered college and is doing his university college degrees or whatever of being a doctor, that later on becomes that he became a Digimon doctor for the Digimon and everything. But that literally is one of the things that I really get right to me and I will probably do more about Digimon Adventures time period in a later video. I just wanted to clarify in this vlog as well, but I'll be doing a much more dedicated review on Digimon's Adventure Tries timeline on on another video probably next week I might actually make that as the dedicated first Digimon type of related review related video so that it clears up a lot of things so I'm I literally got a little bit annoyed that somebody apparently corrected me on it when it was clearly and not was clearly correctly in knowledge because because the of press releases exactly tells told us by Toei that it's set a few months after the events of Melomyosamon six months after the events of Melomyosamon's attack and that is and what makes it then three months after the event of the Revenge of the Air Boromon what happened during the summer so yeah so I'll be talking more into more in depth in a later video of where Adventure Tri takes place and I will be doing a lot about that and a lot of talking about that so it might be a long video but I want to give it a lot of thought and a lot of discussions to you guys about where it takes place and it will be a video dedicated to that other than that that's pretty much all of the updates that I wanted to bring to you guys along on to this channel and what's going to be happening and I'll try to make sure that I keep my promises with a lot of things that keep on happening because at the moment I've been keeping my promises of making sure that I do manga chapter reviews and everything of Shigeki no Soma, Bleach and One Piece and Fairy Tale. but I want to try and see if I can keep my promises of doing these other videos as well that I want to give you guys as well on this channel as well but other than that this has been Kai from Kai's of Taker Corner and I'll see you next time for another review and another vlog at the same time at some given point but this has been the vlog that I wanted to have been giving you guys as well so yeah so check back and check out my bleach review if you have the time as well so yeah this has been Kai from Kaiser Tiki Corner and I'll see you next time see ya